and uh, thank you for the contribution. I have received it. Nice. Yeah, I saw uh, it. Send me a chat. Yeah, thanks for that. And uh, we are going to invest it uh, here in for the Easter preparations. Nice. Uh, because we used to have the Easter lunch, the Good Friday lunch, and uh, the Palm Sunday beating. Same with that, we are going to do a visit to the place where we used to go. As I, uh, as you know that the land I have showed you already. Right. right the, we go there and uh, within the church, <coughs> members and youth, I'm willing to visit uh, an orphanage in this Easter season, uh, before Easter or after Easter, right? And a uh, very important thing is that you might have noticed that uh, the pulpit area in the in the place we have for church is is, is small, right? Right. Yeah. And uh, now we are going to make it uh, bigger. We are breaking some walls. Wow. Uh, there is something some construction work will be going on because in summers it's used to get very difficult and a lot of suffocation happen. And uh, within a part of uh, this contribution, we are going to do some construction work. Uh, we are breaking the we are taking the toilet out of the out of the church area also it was like near to it right <laughs> so <laughs> we are just making it block and uh, the the way will be block and uh, the way to our house upstairs will be uh, separated because, because this year we haven't committed it yet but we aim to support some widows in the church like uh, we have a family uh, we have a family uh, in our church and uh, her husband was died so she is living like uh, we used to support her like whenever we visit her we give her some something whatever we can do for for her and uh, their family uh, there is uh, they have uh, two sons they are working and they are all like underage, like uh, not more than eight in. They are 15 or 16 and they are working. They are not getting education. Uh, there is a girl, her name is Kayanath, and uh, she wants to study now. And she was, uh, she was, she was telling me about, and uh, she's also in a youth group, and uh, she has a desire to study. So for the study thing, or for her school and educational expenses, what I am like you can say that I'm finding a person who can who can take her as a foster care you know right and uh, who who can support her for her education and uh, for her convince to going school and coming back and as far as the coaching is concerned I can give her tuition but the school and uh, school registration is important because here in Pakistan we have 10 years matriculation system right when we study 10 years they give us secondary school certificate okay yeah and that is called matriculation that is very important and if a person don't do matriculation he is like they 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 like uh, they mention on every document of her or his like illiterate right right their earning so, uh, just isn't very much. It's hard for them to make a living. Yeah, it's hard. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And uh, all the jobs they get is all about cleaning to homes and this and that. And there is a lot of domestic violence over servants and all that. Her mother is also go and clean someone's house. So they are in crisis. So if somebody like Comet for her education, uh, that would be brilliant. That would be really brilliant. And Lord, whatever we do together is for your glory. We become less and you become more. Lord, help us to get a lot of people into your presence. So that, Lord, when you will come, you will say that good servants, you are my good servant that brings a lot of souls to me. Because, God, you love everyone. And, Father, Lord, you, you love us. And that's why you make us our sons and daughters. And now we want to serve you in a more better way. Lord, I if I told you my story, you would hear hope. Sharing the gospel can sometimes be a daunting task. Today, we challenge you to take small steps of faith toward telling the entire world about Jesus. As you attend services, 
please check in on Facebook to Faith and Victory Church. You never know who among your Facebook friends is watching and might want to visit and check out our church and a relationship with Jesus. This will be the one time that we ask you to take out your phones in church. Have fun with it and include God in your story. Easter is right around the corner. Our 10,000 candy-filled Easter egg hunt is March 26th at Terminal Park in Auburn at noon. In addition to the egg hunt, there'll also be pictures, hot dogs, face painting, and door prizes. This event is for the entire community, not just the members of the church. It's 100% free and so much fun, so invite everyone you know. Following the egg hunting fun will be our Easter services on Sunday, March 27th at 9 and 11 a.m. Easter is typically a Sunday that many people not accustomed to going to church will attend services. Make sure to invite your friends in person and on social media. Jesus is alive. Thank you for listening. Please be sure to check in on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and Instagram, and silence your cell phones. All services are broadcast live on the internet at faithandvictory.com slash live. That broadcast will be made available in audio and video form with the pastor's notes at faithandvictory.com slash sermons after the service is over. If you liked the sermon, make sure to share it. This is God's story, so let's listen. Hey, hold up. I'm about to go in Chosen. How, 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 no clue what my life was about.